I want to help you avoid buying something you don't need and quite frankly, you're never going to use. Now I get asked this question all the time and it's usually from people that are new to building a website and the question goes like this. There's a lot of overlap between Elementor Pro and the Pro version of this theme that I'm thinking of purchasing. Which one should I purchase and why? It's a, an awesome question because sometimes, you know, we don't want to just go and buy every single thing we see. We have a budget, but we do have a little bit of money to invest into something and we want to make the right decision on which that we choose to buy so i'm going to try to answer that as best as possible in this video and i'll point people to it in the future so let's go ahead and get started so elementor pro to be honest, you might not even need it. Now, I like to buy Elementor Pro first because I really want to support them and there's a ton of features in this. But to be quite honest, there's a good chance that you don't need it. So first, it's a good idea to understand what comes in the Pro version of Elementor before you even decide. So obviously, with Elementor Pro, it's going to come with some Pro-level widgets. Now, these are going to give you features that are so essential to having a website and the alternative would be to use some free tool out there or some alternative paid tool out there now if you have more time using a free tool it's less expensive right it's going to be free but there might be a little bit more time involved in the setup but here's a list of the pro elements that come within elementor the ones that you want to keep an eye on though is the form element because you're going to be able to use this for lead capture if you're trying to capture any leads on your website and to create all types of contact forms on your website now a typical contact form builder might be fifty dollars in and of itself but keep in mind there's lots of free contact form builders out there however this one is just so easy to use there's some other pro elements in here such as login forms there's a slider there's advanced galleries but a lot of these elements to be quite frank you can now get inside of free Elementor add-on packages. So you probably don't want to buy Elementor for that reason. Why you'd want to buy Elementor is some of these power features. So if you hover over features, it lists them out right here. So one of them is some of their marketing related features right here. There's website personalization, there's lead capture, there's all kinds of features related to marketing. But the big one is going to be the theme builder. You see what Elementor Pro is going to allow you to do, and you can kind of see it in this animated image here. It's going to allow you to build a header for your website and a footer. Now, these are traditional things you'd get out of a theme. So essentially, because if you had Elementor Pro, you won't need those features in your theme. This is one of the reasons I always suggest if, you're, if you only have money to buy one, go ahead and buy Elementor Pro but that's not all that there is so there's header and footer you can create styles for blog posts uh, archive posts search pages if you're going to sell anything e-commerce you can create and design product pages in woocommerce you pretty much can do it all with this theme builder feature and you can also do something i'm not going to get into called dynamic content as well i've got advanced tutorials on all that here on the channel another big feature and this is kind of essential for most websites is the pop-up builder this is all included in elementor pro now you're not going to usually get something like a pop-up builder in a theme uh, it's only going to come inside of elementor pro and here you can see you could build all kinds of different pop-ups you just saw one slide in on the bottom right there to demonstrate that these pop-ups can be anything and you can totally leverage the power that you find inside of Elementor to build some very interesting pop-ups. But like I said, if you don't need the pop-up builder, if you don't need the theme builder, if you don't need some of these marketing features and really that form element, you could just use a free add-on package such as Happy Add-ons. It's completely free. 
and it adds pricing tables and all kinds of elements that you might find in the pro version of Elementor. But really where Elementor shines is this theme builder and this pop-up builder. So then what happens is you can use any theme that is free if you're using Elementor Pro because you're not going to use a lot of the features in the pro version of that theme anyway. So there's a couple great ones such as the page builder framework. There's a free version of this. And the reason I'm bringing this up, I recently did a speed test on all of these five different very popular free themes and page builder framework came out as the fastest of all of them another strong performer was generate press both of these themes have free versions and really if you're going to use elementor for your header and for your footer there's not a whole lot for most people in the pro version of these themes now if you are using um if you're a developer then it's a different story there's some advanced features for developers advanced developers inside of these themes but for the everyday average user you don't need the pro version typically of your theme if you're going to use elementor pro because a lot of that stuff is just built inside of elementor pro hey i am just bringing this up here because i want to help you make the right decision for yourself and really you might not need to buy anything if you are on the tightest budget you probably would be best off taking whatever financial resources you have and making sure you have some awesome web hosting and then you could start out for free with the free version of elementor and a free theme but when the time comes to purchase one or the other and you can only purchase one uh, definitely go with elementor pro now i will have links to everything in the video description box down below including if you clicked on that link to purchase elementor i'm actually going to give you a full training course that i made on elementor that i sell for 199 dollars i'm going to give it you access for free so you pretty much have everything you need to be successful building a website uh, anyways, I just wanted to answer this commonly asked question. I'd love to have you in the Facebook group as well. There's a link to that down below. Hey, what do you think about this video? Do you agree that Elementor Pro, if you had one thing to buy, it would be Elementor Pro over a theme. But obviously, if you had money to spend, just go ahead and get both. What do you think? And I would like to hear from you in the comment section down below. Hey, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.